Hi guys and hi. welcome hi and welcome to another Marion and Mum live show. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Marion and this is my beautiful mother Noi. Hi. <laughs> uh, my mum is here to tell us all the tips and tricks from a trained chef and a gorgeous mum who's been cooking food for her family for many, many years. Yes. <laughs> so we have a jam-packed show today. We're doing a dinner and dessert combo. Yes, we? yes. Very exciting. Okay, so we're doing mulpalo, which is like this awesome one pot pork and egg braise. It's a really traditional dish, but oh, it is so delicious and so yes. comforting. Yes. And then what are we doing for dessert, Mum? We're we'll doing a goi mochi. And that is bananas in coconut milk. Yes. It's like a four ingredient dessert, guys. It yes. takes 10 minutes. It's super quick, super easy, but very delicious, isn't yes. it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's get going on our, let's, we'll do the pork one first. So guys, remember we're live, so we would love to hear your comments. Um, please share as well if you've got anyone that you think would love to join in on the live show. And also we're gonna be doing some Q and A's. So if you have any questions, um, you know, you can ask, Ask my mum here any personal question you want, <laughs> or me as well. Uh, just type them in the comments and we'll, and we'll get to them as well. And of course, any cooking, uh, cooking questions, um, you know, pop those in there as well. And of course, tell us where you're joining us from as well. We have people that join from all over the world, don't we? Yes. Yes. All right, so pork, what are we doing first? We're doing a... Uh, We're going to do the egg. You've got the, the eggs cooking already, don't you? We cook the egg. Yeah. Yeah. So you, you're using duck eggs for this we one, aren't you? using duck egg. You can mm. use uh, uh, chicken. You could use chicken totally. Uh, chicken egg, uh, egg. Yeah, but if you guys can find duck eggs, I, they really add a really beautiful yes. richness, don't they? Yes. Um, and you want to make sure they're hard boiled for this one, don't yes. you? Yeah, yes. so you're doing these duck eggs. They're pretty big, so you're going to do those for about 10 minutes. About 10 you? minutes, And yes. we've set the timer, yep. so we don't forget. Yes. <laughs> that sort of thing happens on a live show, doesn't yes. it? Okay, so eggs, they're cooking. Well, now what do we need to do? We're going to do the... Uh, the, the we're going to do the, the paste, aren't paste, we? We do yeah. the paste. So the base of this flavour, and you know what, I, this is what I love about a lot of my mum's dishes, is that you're not relying on too many stocks or, you know, things you have to make in advance. You know, you're going to use a paste to really flavour the water that you're yes. going to use for uh -huh. the whole braise. Yes. So so let's go with the base, so the paste. What we do with it is garlic. Mm -hmm. First we powder garlic first. Yeah. Because we're going to take that hard the skin out, right? Yeah. So just rub it, just, just gin, just like this, okay? And so these are those little small Thai garlic cloves, yes. aren't they? Yes. And so th these are quite sweet and so not just, very strong. Just don't have to be perfect, just a little yeah. bit out, right? Because this one, not, not. But for everyone who's not in Thailand, mum, should they use less garlic because they, they don't have these small ones? Like if they have those oh, big yeah. garlic cloves. Oh yeah, they can cloves. use big garlic, yes. yeah. Use less, yeah. Yep. So guys, the, the recipe for this, for both the recipes today, they're on my website marinskitchen.com and there's suggestions there for you know how many garlic cloves to use yes. if you're using regular garlic how many to use if you yeah. happen to be in thailand and okay. have the thai garlic now so. you've got a garlic okay we've got now the garlic is, uh, i'm going to see two who, of, who we've got uh, joining us too one teaspoon of uh, black pepper black pepper uh -huh. peppercorn what you do you just uh, a pinch of salt pinch of salt here you go yep. and you roughly so, Mum, a lot of people are asking, have been asking about this mortar and pestle. Yep. Um, if someone's going to buy a mortar and pestle, what what do they, what should they look for? Uh, just look for the uh, like a very smooth inside, not roughly, right? Okay. Yeah. Not 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 good. Yeah, and it should be quite heavy. You can get a smaller one, not yeah. like this, a smaller this size. Okay. You can get a small. You can get one size smaller, but small. I do. I like it to be a little heavy because then this does the work. Yeah. Rather yeah. than your arm doing okay. the work, right? So that's all you have to do, okay? Okay. Do you want to, should we show everyone what it looks like with a spoon? Yeah. Get a spoon. Spoon here. So, so yes. this is the paste. It's not even a paste. It's just like a. No. So you just sort of made sure all the peppercorns are nice and broken up and yes. small, but you've still got the chunks of garlic, yes. right? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. So let's. I'll move this away over here so that we can get the rest of our vegetables prepared. So what right. other vegetables are we using? First of all, we've got these uh, tadaji mushroom. Uh huh. And you've got this. Yes. So should we do the half. radish first? Just half. Radish first. Okay. So this is. Just cut so half. In, so this half is like, like a that. daikon radish, yeah, right? Yeah. Just, just that part. Okay. okay. So I'm just going to see if we've got any questions you while you're chopping that up. Peel the skin. Right? Uh huh. Like this. Like this. Right. 
skin. So you're using one of those fancy Julia yeah, ones. But you can use a normal you one, a plain one. one. But you, you like to have a little pattern on the yeah, outside, yeah, don't yeah. you? Yeah, just, just peel this one out, okay? Let's see, so we've got Sharon from Redland Bay in Queensland. Hi, Sharon. Hi. We've got, um, oh, Jacqueline from Tennessee. Thanks for joining us, Jacqueline. Early morning for you over there. All right, so you just shaved off some of the skin. Yes. And then you just, what, what do you need to do now? So, just like this, okay? yeah. just just like this, uh -huh. like this. Not doing perfect, but like this. So you just want some little rough yeah, that's slices. All that's it. Yeah, like that. So if you can't get the daikon radish, mum, or this yeah. particular radish, what can people use? Should they just use carrots or leave it oh, out? Oh, leave or? it out. Just leave it out. Leave it out. Okay. Leave it out. Leave it out. Just like that. Okay. Okay. All the way. All the way. Great. Yeah. So if you're just joining us, guys, we are making more palo, which is a very traditional Thai pork and egg braise. It's such a delicious dinner to make. And then we're also going to be making a Thai dessert as well. Yes. So we've got this one. And then our other veggie is the shiitake mushrooms, yes. right? So we had some dried shiitake mushrooms that we've been soaking. Oh, here, Mum, I'll put, I've got a bowl for you. So... Dry, right? This one dry. So this is the dry. Dry. Just after we soak the water. And then after we not soak... Not long, about 15, 20 minutes. So 15, they're 20, soft, you can see right? the difference. So it's just rehydrated. It looks like, yeah. like a fresh yes. shiitake. Yes. So this is a really cool ingredient, I think, to keep in your pantry. Because yes. these dried mushrooms will keep like forever in the pantry, yes. right? And yes. then whenever you're doing a stir fry or you want to do an Asian dish, you can just rehydrate and yes. you get... A beautiful shiitake mushroom. Yes, yes. Okay, so what how do, do we prepare those what do you now? Do there? When you oh, pick it timer, up. Oh, timer, timer. That's the eggs. Okay. Eggs. Okay, so do you just want to put those in some, just some normal, this is just tap water, right? Just temperature, normal room tap temperature. Water. Yep, normal okay. tap water. So I'll hold, I'll hold the bowl, you do the eggs. So this is just to cool the eggs down, right? Cool the egg down. Okay. And they, I'd rather use the, uh, tap water because I like to, if they stay in there, they cook a little bit more. Oh, so no cook, ice. Oh, no ice. Just no cook ice. a little bit longer. Okay. Just no more. Right, I'll put those back over here. Okay. Okay, so show us what we do with the shiitake mushrooms. Mushroom, mm -hmm. when you want to use that, you mm -hmm. have to squeeze the water, pick up by hand, right? Yeah. So squeeze, just squeeze the water out like that. We don't want the water. Yeah. Right? So you see that? Ah, so take the water out yeah, first. Yeah, squeeze like that, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because we don't want, we don't want that water. Okay. okay. That's how you do. All That's right. Okay. okay. So take this out. Yep. And then um, how do you chop? What do you what do, you do is you just uh, cut one side first. Yeah. You see that? Like that. Yeah. And you turn around. You just get the hard part. Yeah. Because this stalk part. So this part. You can't eat that. This part here. That's it's too hard and tough. Yeah. So you can't eat that. So yeah. you definitely want to take this guy out. This yeah. little guy here. Yeah. yeah. You can uh, by hand, but we think better knife better because a little bit too hard yeah. to take by hand. Yeah. Like like this, just just easy. So A Ayla is saying, "Oh my God, Marion, just got your kit from Countdown today. So excited to use it. That's so awesome." So. <laughs> Guys, we just launched my all-natural Marion's Kitchen meal kits in New Zealand, and Ayla is one of the very first people to try it. So that's really cool. Um, and of course, you guys in Australia and the US, you've got them in your local stores as well. You can head to my website if you want to figure out where to buy them from, but that's great. Okay, so we've got mushrooms. Okay, so we'll put the mushrooms into our vegetable bowl. Yep. All right, so if you're just joining us, guys, we are making a um, Thai pork and egg braise. And we've so far done our duck eggs, we've done a paste, we've done our vegetables, and now we need to do the pork, don't pork, we? Pork, yes. Okay, so we now have a look at this uh, pork here. Put this a pork belly. So we've got, you, so pork you, belly. you brought along two pieces of pork yes. to show everyone, yep. didn't you? So the option is pork belly. This pork belly. Yep. Or what's this other one here? This is a pork neck. Pork neck. So pork you could neck. use either of those, oh, right? Yeah, yeah. I can't, like the pork belly is probably my favorite. Yeah, okay, me too. the pork belly gets yes. soft yes. and squishy so, and uh, yeah. really yum. When you buy the pork belly, yeah. sometimes it's still got skin. Okay. You see the skin? So you're going to show us how to take yes. that off? Because we don't want the skin for this one because it's not going to get crispy. The skin can get really tough, yes. can't it? So we want to take the skin off. Yes. Yeah. So you've got to get this. You've got to cut the pork into strips first because that makes it easier. Yep. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. So just I'm like going to see. Right? Just just like that. 
Just like that. Okay, okay. so you cut the strip, yeah. Uh, you just put a little bit in the middle. Okay. And you, one, one side you pull the skin yeah. and you need the knife moving. Uh, so you're just moving the moving the skin and the knife. Yeah. Oh, you can get the butcher loop for you. Oh, you could do, you, yeah. They can I mean, this, for is, you. this is easier. You just got to get yes. the knife in under the skin. But you don't want the skin, so yeah. you can take the butcher loop for you. Yeah. Okay? Like that. Okay. So you might a uh, little bit. So little how, bit. how big do we want it? We want just just that about that big. Okay. okay. So we want a nice, decent sort of chunk. Because it's going to yes. shrink a little bit when it's might in the be, braid as well. Like this. Okay. okay. Yep. Like this. You're the boss. You're the boss, not <laughs> me. <laughs> okay. Just... Just that, that, that size. Okay? okay, that size. That looks good. I'm going to see um, if we've got any questions. Evelyn saying, Marion, can we get your kits in Malaysia? No, sorry, Evelyn. At the moment, it's just Australia, the USA, and New Zealand. But hopefully, one day we can bring them to you in Malaysia. That would be wonderful. Okay. You want to do that, this one too? Yeah, let's let's go ahead. I like, I, let's let's put all the pork in there. Yeah. Don't want to miss out on any pork. Don't be stingy on the pork, Mum. <laughs> We like water um, So we also get a lot of questions from you guys during the week. So I'm going to see, Gift, do we have some questions you collected from during the week? Yeah. Um, first one is for you, Marion. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh, what are your, what are your must-eat dishes for people visiting Thailand? Mmm. Oh, so many dishes for people visiting Thailand. Mum, what do you reckon? What are your, what, what? If you had someone like a friend coming to visit, what is it that you always take them out to eat? Oh. Okay. Well, I always take them for noodle soup. I mean, first, because first thing, you know, you get to Bangkok and you're tired, you've been on the plane, you need something, you know, sort of comforting. Yes. And I always find like a noodle soup, a spicy sort of noodle soup is like, you know, the yes. way to go, first mm -hmm. of all. Yes. And then um, one of my favorite things to eat here is Khnom Din, Khnom Din yes. Nam Ya, which yes. is like um, a fish and coconut sauce and a very special rice type of rice noodle that you can only get in Thailand. So that would be my second mm -hmm. dish. Yeah. And then what, who, what, what, what would you take them out for? Well, we... we mango sticky rice, probably. <laughs> Mum loves mango sticky rice. Yeah, she said... We just made that last week. Mango, Actually, yeah. you guys, if you're interested in um, learning how to make mango sticky rice, Mum made an epic one last week, and you can catch that up on my YouTube channel, Marion's Kitchen. So all of these live shows you can catch up on on YouTube. You can save them. You can watch them in HD, all of that kind of stuff. So it's pretty cool. All right, so what's next, Mum? We've got pork, paste, vegetables. Oh, uh, bean curds. Bean curd, so we've got, we've got some curd. fried bean curd. dried bean curd here. Yes. So this is like just like a fried tofu. Fried tofu. You can get in supermarket now. Yeah, yeah you can get yes. and you any can kind get of any kind of firm tofu would be. Firm fine, tofu, okay, okay. Too, yeah. Alright, so now are we ready to start cooking? Yes. Alright. So let's get our pot heating up. I'll turn this up. Mum hates working the uh, you don't like working this no. stove, do you? <laughs> Mum likes to see the fire, but we don't have the fire here, do we? Okay, so we've got the pot heating up, and what do we need to do first? See, look, Mum, I just had it on the right thing for you. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. I already did it for you. Do you want it one higher? One uh, higher. Okay, first, is yeah. that good? Okay. Okay, now, now what, uh, what do we do first? Two levels of cooking oil. Okay, so cooking oil. Just, just vegetable oil, Just right? vegetable oil. Yeah. yeah. And then we just wait for that to heat up. And so I'll see if we've got any other questions here. So Charles is asking, can you use normal eggs instead of duck eggs? No, can you use normal egg? Mm -hmm. Yeah, can Completely. you use normal Chicken egg? Chicken eggs are totally fine. Yeah. 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 Uh, let's see. I think we're looking pretty good. Gift, do you have any other questions? Yes. Um, this one's for mom. Uh huh. Where were you born? Where were you born? It's a question. Me? I born in, in, in uh, Banpong, village. Not Close far from Bangkok. Not Close to Bangkok. Yeah, it's only a couple of hours, isn't it? Yes. Yes. And so, why don't you tell us a bit about that? <laughs> My, yeah. So born had, in village. And yeah. so, so you have a you have a river nearby. Yes, river, yeah. and we family and beautiful is houses. farm. So these, yeah. So it's farming village and these beautiful wooden traditional Thai houses. Yes, Thai house. It's such a calming, lovely yep. place out yes. there, isn't it? It's yes. beautiful. Uh -huh. Yeah. All right, so let's go. Is our oil nearly hot? Not yet. Okay, so you want to put this paste in there, don't you? Do you yes. want me to lift this up for you? No, no, it's okay. Oh, you can scoop it out. Yeah. I'll, ho I'll hold you, scoop. Okay. Teamwork. Teamwork, yeah, not, <laughs> not quite hot yet. Oh, that's hot. Yeah, that looks hot to me. Okay. All right, so we've got that paste going in there. 
Oh, that smell already, Mum. So the yep. garlic and the pepper. Yep. And so you just want to give that a bit of a stir, yep. don't you? Oh, okay. yum. And so what goes in next, Mum? What should I get for you? Uh, that, this uh, spicy. Oh, five spice. Uh, five so spice. Chinese five spice, right? Chinese five spice. Yeah. So this is another really good pantry item to have um, on hand, isn't it? Yeah, for, for a lot of Asian dishes. Yeah. Awesome. And that is smelling delicious already. And now what else? Uh, this, uh, the pork. Pork, all right. Okay, put the pork in. Yep. There we go. Um, dark, dark soy. soy. Yep. So, guys, with the this soy, sweet. this is sweet, sweet dark, dark soy. soy. Yep. So, guys, with the soy sauce, there's a few different things to watch here. So, light soy sauce is just regular normal soy yep. sauce. You'll have a dark soy sauce, and then there's dark sweet soy yes. sauce. That is a dark and sweet soy. This okay? is the dark and sweet one. If you can only get dark soy sauce, just use that. Add a little bit more sugar. Yep. If you are in Australia, Kekat Manis is a type of sweet dark soy sauce that you can use as well. Yep. That's a very common one to find there. Yep. Ooh, look at that, look yeah. at that colour, yeah. Mum. I've got that. Yeah. It's five starnies. Uh, starnies, yeah. Four starnies. Starnies, three. Now, uh, and what about sugar? Do you put the sugar in now, or? Yep. So okay. sugar? Yep, one, one. One and a half. One and a half tablespoons, there you go. And uh, fish sauce. Fish sauce. Here's your fish sauce. Fish sauce. That one? Yep. Wow, look how beautiful that colour is. Yep. Uh, water. And then water, right. Yep. All right, I've got the water here. So how many cups of Four water? Cups. Four, Four cups. cups. Okay. One. Two. Yep. Three. Mm -hmm. And... Yes, and then we want our vegetables as well, don't we? Now, yes, all go together. So here are your vegetables. Right. Vegetable. Yeah. So that's the shiitake and the daikon radish we prepared earlier, yes. guys. Yes, and the tofu. And the tofu. Yeah. And then we'll just wash our hands because we've been touching that pork. And our hands. Now we have the egg. Uh -huh. So we've got our eggs over here. Yeah. Okay. Egg. Ooh, look at those eggs. They're gonna peel really easily, aren't they? So I always find when when you're doing when you when you're doing any kind of boiled egg actually, mm -hmm. the very, very freshest eggs aren't the ones that you want. Because the very, very freshest eggs are really hard to peel. <laughs> so you want, I mean, you, you know, you just want eggs that are just a, you know, a few, a bit, a bit older than very, very fresh anyway. So. Egg go in. Okay. So this is super easy to do, Mum. It's not take, taking very long at all. Okay. And so what happens, guys, is these eggs, they sit in that amazing, beautiful broth and they sort of start soaking up all the flavour and the flavour that you get with the finished eggs is really amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yum. And so if you're just joining us guys, we are making mokalo, which is like this awesome Thai braised pork and egg dish. And then we are about to start making our very amazing four ingredient Thai dessert, which I'm super excited about. Alright, so we've got our eggs in there. Oh, well, that one didn't peel very well, did that, it? Not put in that. Okay, you don't want that one. No. Mum doesn't want the ugly. No. You don't want the ugly egg. No, no, no. Well, you don't egg. want the ugly egg. Okay. Now you got the egg. Now you keep a little bit of the stir, okay? Uh huh. Now they all go together. You see that? Yeah. Look at those. Yeah. Look, look how beautiful that color. So yeah. this is what I see. This is what I love about your cooking, Mum. You kind yeah. of make these ingredient. You know, use these ingredients that are very easy, very easy to prepare, and yeah. then all of a sudden we've got something that's looking amazing. It's yeah. like magic. Yeah. Okay, so how long do we need to cook that for? Just about, you know, 30, 35. About 30 minutes? Yes, about 
Because uh, uh, wait until the pork, pork is pork, soft, it's, right? It's soft and okay. tender, yeah. All right. So, while we're waiting for that, why don't we make our dessert? So, I'll bring over your... Oh, wait, no, we've got to make chilli sauce for the yeah. pork, don't we? Yes. Yeah. Got one more, one more thing to make for our pork. Okay, so I will get your mortar and pestle. There we go. So, guys, this is an optional extra for your pork. Yep. I highly recommend it, though, because what happens is you're going to have this really sweet, quite fatty pork, and then you want this acidic, spicy, beautiful sauce to go with it. So, we've got our chilies here and our mortar and pestle. Yep. I'm going to see if we've got any questions. Oh, so Anne's saying, uh, asking, if you don't like pork, what else can you, you use? You can use chicken. Yeah, chicken's a good one. You can use chicken, you can use beef. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Just need to alter, like, so if you're going to do beef, use a secondary cut. You yes. probably have to simmer it for a bit longer until yes. it's soft. Yes. And if you're using chicken legs, you might even could get away with you even less. You can use chicken leg or wing or, or, or mix together. Yeah, doesn't matter. Okay, yeah. so what are we doing with our chilli sauce, Mum? Okay. Uh, garlic. Okay, so we start off with the garlic. Uh, we need some chilli. So Lauren is joining us. It is 6.20 in Pennsylvania. <laughs> She's having coffee and watching yeah. the show. You probably can <laughs> take the skin out a bit. Okay, yeah. yep. That's all you have to do. So pound it a bit and take some of the skin yeah. off. So we some chilli. See, the Thai garlic, though, the skins are so fine anyway. A lot of the time we just sort of leave them in, don't we? Yeah. It doesn't really matter too much. But if you're... I need some cutting board. You need a cutting board over here? Here you go. And here's a knife, Mum. So these are, what kind of chilies oh, are these? Yellow chilies. No, um, just that one, Mum. I think the other one's um, dirty. So just yellow chilies. Yeah, yeah, Does yeah. it have to be yellow? Could you use other Can ones? Yellow or red or, 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 or green. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so any kind of chilies. Uh, but do you want a hot or a mild chili? Oh. You can do either mild or I like to be the mild a little bit, you know. You like a mild, yeah. I like it hot. <laughs> so either way is fine, right? <laughs> and so, Gift, do we have any, uh, any other questions? Yes, this one's for you. Mm -hmm. And someone wants to know if you speak Thai. I do a little. Well, you know, I speak. I speak a little bit of Thai. I try my best. Um, I lived in Australia. So what happened was, I was born in Australia, lived in Australia all my life. We lived in Papua New Guinea as well for a little while. So I didn't get to live in Thailand when I was little. But I've since since I've been back, I've been learning. I can now read Thai, which I'm very proud of. Yep. Um, and so what's next? Just a pinch of salt. Pinch of salt. Yep. So I speak Thai with, a, with an Australian accent. <laughs> yeah. And you speak Australian with a Thai accent. Yes. Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're pounding our chilies and so our garlic. Uh, chili and garlic, uh -huh. roughly. So this is a really, this, you know, this this chili sauce goes well on lots of different things, doesn't it, Mum? Yeah. Like you could make this and yeah. have with like roast chicken, uh, raw chicken, or, seafood. Yeah. You know. And I just, I just, I just got some chili on my face. Lucky I'm wearing glasses. <laughs> These are like chili goggles. Okay. So <laughs> now you have. Um, now what? So now we want a little bit of sugar, right? Yep. A little bit, a little sugar. bit of sugar, and then a little bit of vinegar as well, because yeah. this is like a vinegary tart kind vinegar. of. Spicy sauce. Yep. So you already you already put the salt in, didn't you? Yeah. So guys, remember all of the all of the recipes are on my website, marianskitchen.com. You can find them all there. And um, of course, as with all mum recipes, you've got to watch them like a hawk because they seem to add things in all the time without measuring. But we got you, don't we? Yes. We get the measurements <laughs> down as she's cooking before the show. Yes. Um, so you can find all of those recipes there. So. This is looking very good. So this is one we made earlier. Yep. And have a look here, guys. So this is our beautiful spicy chili sauce. And this one goes with our our braised pork. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Braised pork. Yeah. Okay. So dinner is simmering away, ready to go. We want to make dessert now, don't we? Yes. We make do. dessert. Okay. Yes. All right. So let me clean this away for you. And let's get our dessert going. So, Mum, do you want to tell everyone what the dessert is again? Dessert? Goi bo chi. Goi bo chi. And this is 
bananas in coconut. And I love it because it is so easy to make, um, but it just has the most delicious, rich, comforting, lovely flavor. So let me put this down here for you, Mum. Yeah. And let's get started. So what do we need to do first of all for our dessert? Now, uh, coconut. Uh-huh. And I'll wipe down your, um, your board and knife so you don't get, oh, so you don't get chilly, chilly on our dessert. Two, two cups of... Uh, two cups of coconut milk. Yeah. So, guys, I, we're using my Marin's Kitchen Premium Coconut Milk. I love it because it tastes yeah. amazing. I get it especially made for me. It's all natural and it just it just tastes like coconuts. Mm. It's, it's the best. But if you can't get a hold of this is only in um, for sale in the US. I'll put a link, actually, to Amazon where you can grab this. But um, if you're in Australia and you're buying coconut milk, my biggest recommendation is open it up and taste it. So you should be able to just open it up and just drink it with a spoon and mm -hmm. if it tastes good then it's good to use. Yeah. So that's what that's what you're looking for. Um, so you need two About cups of coconut. Two cups, this is the two packet, the two cups. Yeah. So two cups. Yeah. Which is very convenient, isn't it, Mum? Yeah. Two packets, two cups. Yeah. I wonder who thought of that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let me put the link for you guys for anyone who's in the US and is looking to try some awesome coconut milk. I'll put that up now. I can get this. So you, what, so you just need to heat that coconut milk yes. up, don't you? And sugar? Yeah. Sugar. So just regular white sugar is regular fine. Regular white sugar. So, and actually that brings me to a little story about this dessert. Yes. So it's called Goi Uchi. Goi and, Uchi. And that is because um, Mechi is the name of, uh, that's what you call nun, nun. in Thai, right? Yep. And in Thailand, uh, Mechi, the nuns wear white. Yes. And so this is a white dessert and yes. that's why and it's called that. Yes. Yeah. And a little pinch of salt. Okay. And this is what I love. So it, whenever you're doing sweet coconut desserts in Thai, like Thailand, you always add a little bit of salt, don't you? Uh, yeah. yeah. Most uh, of the time. For me, I, I like my little bit of Goi Mochi. Yeah. You know. And But mango sticky rice as well, you add a little bit of salt yes. to the coconut. Yes. So guys, I've just posted that Amazon link if you are interested in having a look at the coconut milk. Okay. okay. So. How long do we need to simmer this for? Just until the sugar dissolves, or? Uh, no. Yeah, cut banana now. Okay, put cut all together. So, oh, so you've got to put Six. it all together. All right. Six banana. All right. So these bananas, though, so these are special ones that we're not. Well, in Thailand, they're called um, Gloi Namwa Thai. Gloi Namwa Thai. So um, Gloi Namwa, I think, I reckon in Australia or in the US, the like a similar banana might be ladyfinger bananas. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. yeah. So you these. Can use that yeah, but similar. the important part is it's not too ripe, isn't it? No, not not you too ripe. Just just uh, not over ripe because when you're cooking, they're gonna go soft. I don't like a, a That's sloppy right. so banana. So you don't want you like over ripe. I like to be a chunk. Exactly. Right. So if you've got bananas that are not quite ripe. Yeah. Almost ripe, but not quite. They're yeah. probably the best ones. Yeah. They're the best ones. I don't for want this. too ripe either because. You yeah. Know, now, start to peel the, yeah. get the banana. This uh, this should be right for banana. Yeah. Okay. What you do, you. So good because it's just this. slightly green. You I can see. Typer, we do this. Oh, we do okay. by hand, right? Oh, look like at that. Like this, like this. You've always go got the up. easy way to do it. I love that. Okay. And you keep doing same way, yeah? same way, like that. That's how we do. Okay. So Patrice is asking, is saying, "Hi, Mum and Noy and Marion. Lots of love from Napier, New Zealand." Marion, will your daughter ever feature on your live feed? She is adorable. Love tuning in every week. Well, of course, Patrice, we think she's adorable, don't we? <laughs> um, but thank you very much. That's very nice. How are you enjoying being a grandmother? You love being a love grandmother, Love grandmother, don't you? the first grandmother, yes. Very happy. <laughs> very good granddaughter, yes. <laughs> she is a good granddaughter, yes. isn't she? Yes. <laughs> Well, we think so anyway. Yes. <laughs> Lovely girl, yes. <laughs> so she's seven months old now. Yes. I can't yes. believe it. She's starting to eat things as well. Actually, that's one of the questions you guys have been asking. What is my daughter eating at the moment? So um, we are working through all the fruits and vegetables. Mm -hmm. We're doing a bit of a combo at the moment. We're doing like... So we had some problems with some avocado to start with. Those of you who are on my Instagram, um, my Marion's Kitchen Instagram, you guys would know about that. <laughs> and there were plenty of suggestions for getting the, the, the avocado down, which worked out really well. The banana 
avocado and pea combination. Whoever suggested that, that was a good one because that one worked out really well. So this literally is the dessert. You just do the coconut milk, the sugar and the banana yep. and then, you know, that's it. How yep. long do we need to simmer it for? Uh, about maybe 10. I try about 10 because yeah. I don't like my banana. Well, I guess it depends on how um, ripe your banana is as well. Because if it's too ripe, well, actually, you don't want too ripe at all. But yeah. you don't want it. You just want it till it's just tender and soft. Tender and soft, and and you can see that the color will change. Yeah. When, can we check when on banana. The, Can you check on the pork, Mum? I want to see what it looks like. Can we open it up and have a look. Yeah. Ooh, look at that. A the bit. smell see the color. is Beautiful. so amazing, guys. Yep. I can't tell you. Like just those simple ingredients and. Oh, mm, that smells so good. Yep. Okay, so we're just waiting for our bananas to come up to the boil. And let's see, um, do we have any other questions? Gift, do we have any, any other questions? Uh, yep, many people have been asking, uh, do your daughter ever feature you on your live feed? Oh, yes, no, we were just talking about that. Yes, oh, oh we didn't, I didn't think I asked the question though, did I? <laughs> I just started <laughs> talking about her and I didn't ask the question. One day we will definitely bring her in, won't we? We'll definitely bring little Charlie in for a visit. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so don't forget guys, you can catch up on all of these shows, all of my other shows on YouTube. You can watch in HD there. You can also search much easier on YouTube for the recipes than you can um, on Facebook often. So, um, so check back there when you want to um, come and watch more of my videos. Okay, so the bananas are going. Let's get serving. Let's get our pork serving up. Yep. Okay, so I'll make some room here. Do you want to put those bananas on here? Yeah. Right. And so, guys, if you are just joining us now, you've missed out on the cooking, but you're here for the eating because we have our beautiful pork stew. So, this is what it's going to look like when it's all done and dusted, and you can see. So look at that beautiful egg. It's got such a gorgeous color. Um, the meat, all the pork is really soft. The tofu soaked up all that flavor. So I'm gonna get that served. So the way we would serve this is with a little bit of rice. So we'll mm -hmm. put this into a little bowl. Oh, and just that, that juice and all those spices such a lovely comforting dish so you want your pork you want your rice yep. and then you want a little bit of your chili sauce yep so this is your dinner dinner yep. done and then yep. we just want our dessert as yes. well so it, is this nearly done mum do you think or it needs a few more minutes yep, yep, yep few more minutes. Okay, so we'll go, have you got a, a ladle? Grab a ladle and we'll put that out. So let me see if we've got any more questions. Missy's saying, hi Marion, does your website outline a list of supermarkets for your meal kits in New Zealand? It does. And countdown, new world and pack and save. There you go. Don't even have to go to the website. <laughs> All right, so can I, can I have a taste of that, Mum? That looks really delicious. Yeah. Mmm, that coconut, oh, it's so good. Mmm, -hmm. yum. Okay, so I reckon we're ready to serve on those. Ready? Yep. Okay. So guys, thanks for joining us. Um, you can find all the recipes on my website. You've got the beautiful bananas in coconut for dessert. And you've got our amazing pork stew um, with rice and our chili sauce for dinner. and. We'll be back next week, so please come and join us again next week. Make sure you put any questions that you've got down in the comments. We can get to them next week or I'll get to them after the show. So thanks for joining us. Bye. Bye. Bye.